This bill is not a simple update of the Charter of the French language. Its 201 sections would amend 25 pieces of provincial legislation and seeks to amend the Constitution Act 1867. The Quebec Community Groups Network is holding virtual public hearings on Bill 96, which introduces major changes to the province's language laws. Speakers raising questions about the impacts of the bill if passed in its current form, including the use of the notwithstanding clause to replace individual rights with collective rights. Many of the sections of the bill, all the sections that Michael has brought up and that we've all discussed, would not stand a legal challenge because they're uh, against our fundamental rights. So they, of course, use the notwithstanding clause knowing very well that it would be that kind of preventive tool. The Quebec government also criticized for throwing francophone minority rights in the rest of Canada under the bus by challenging the Constitution, which essentially protects them, and how Bill 96 infringes also on Anglophones' perception of themselves and their place in Quebec. Do you think for a minute that Quebec's self-centered and short-sighted tearing apart of the fabric of our Constitution will not serve as an inspiration to other like-minded provinces to do the same for their parochial interests? It's up to us to make our own definition as to who we are. No one else should be telling us what our identity is. I think of all those kids who are now attending French school because their parents thought it was better for them to do so. Do they cease being Anglos? Can you revoke your Anglo like identity or does it disappear? What if you're an Anglophone, pure and simple, and you've decided to come back after so many years living outside of Quebec? Are you still an Anglo? Who defines you? Public consultations continue next week and are being held prior to the National Assembly's public hearings later this month.